Hey guys, welcome to Midas 101 with Jim Rose. Today we're going to go over some of the advanced navigation features on the console. This console has the ability to have some features work here that work in an advanced mode instead of your normal operating mode. If you go, start with your preferences button and you go into your user tab, you have the ability to operate in the several different navigation modes. When you click into advanced mode, it activates your advanced travel navigation buttons. Now that those are activated, we have the ability to work in flip fader mode. So, if we choose flip fader mode right now, these channels are your left-right contributions. If you select a mix, what's happened is these faders have flown into the contributions to the mix that is chosen. If you see right here, if I bring this up, you can see this is my contribution to mix one. In a stereo, in a stereo paired mix, uh, if you choose your master section here as your highlighted section with your scroll, the panning inside of that mix will actually pan inside the mix now too, instead of a left-right panning. So all of those controls in flip mode now work for the aux you have select it. So you are aux 3, matrix 1, unselect, you're back to left, right. Your effects mode is kind of a cool one because when you choose your effects access with output select, if your aux send is attached to an effect unit, when you choose that selection, it will explode your effects unit across the, the front of the screen and your assignable controls will now control based on the effect unit. You now have control of that effect unit through your assignable controls just by choosing that aux. Choose another aux, we have another reverb there. Choose another one, we've got another effect unit here. These are all, if we go into an aux where there is no effect unit chosen, it does not explode. The graphic, if there is a graph attached to a mix. If a mix has a graph attached to it, when you so choose that mix, right now we don't have any attached to them, but if we so chose that mix and we had a graph on that mix, graphic EQ, if that's there, when we choose that mix, what it does is it changes your master section here to graphics with scrollable frequencies only on the mix where there is a graph assigned. If you do not have a graph assigned, these stay as, as your master section. But if this graphic button is chosen and you have a send that has a graph attached to it, when you select that mix with your GEQ active, this section in group of eight becomes a scrollable graphic EQ on faders. The MCA mode, as you can see, there's two levels of screens in here. Basically what this does is this creates it creates VCAs internal in each of the auxes. This is a really powerful feature. It's also very dangerous if you don't know what you're using. If you change any of these levels inside those MCA groups and you bury them or turn MCAs off, those overall contributions stay affected. It's one of those things that when you utilize it for what it's for, it's a very powerful tool, but it's also very dangerous. Uh, it's one of those things that as you, as you delve into using it, you should really pay attention and make sure that you really spend time with it. Uh, if someone else is going to move into your show file, it can be uh, detrimental to them finding things if you've turned something off or down below it and they can't find out why they can't get to it. Um, there's your advanced navigation features, and hopefully this has helped you out some. So we showed you how to access the advanced navigation on the Pro 2 systems over here. On the larger systems, to get into your advanced navigation, it's pretty easy actually also. But because these consoles were out and sold years before the features were developed and the console surface was able to be built around it, they needed to figure out how to get it to work on these consoles. So what they did as an easy access for it, if you are on a larger Pro series and you're used to working on the Pro 2 systems, all you have to do is hold your star button down on this console and when you hold the star button down 
your population groups will turn into your advanced navigation buttons. And this way you can access these things to activate them via the star button. You can also set preferences on this console for star commands, for three commands to get into things like that through your preferences here also. That basically if you go into your quick keys, star one, star two, star three, have the ability to load them up with any of the four advanced navigation modes. You can load them in to three of these buttons, star one, star two, star three, to access them quickly. Or you can hold the star button down again and have it turn these buttons into activations for it.